Hello everybody from uh, Rocky Gap Casino in Maryland. Can you just uh, say whether you can hear me okay? Um, obviously I'm with the wonderful Jules here. Uh, I'm on the Labatt's, tour Labatt's, Jules. Cheers, I'm on the Summer Ale, Sam Adams Summer Ale. <laughs> So yeah, we've had we've actually actually had a really relaxing day today. Um, after a lot of driving uh, up to and including yesterday to MGM National Harbour, um, we only had a two was it two hours, two and a half hours? two and a half yeah. two and a half hours here. And this is like a golf resort. It's um, it's fairly traditional in terms of the rooms, but uh, it's got a nice lake behind us. I don't know if you can see behind us there with some ducks, and you can go uh, canoeing and uh, all of that type of thing. Um, so uh, we thought we'd. Uh, this is the end of basically phase one of the trip. When we, when we planned all of this, we, we split it into uh, three phases. So phase one is really the northeast of uh, um, America. And Jules has written down all of the states that we've uh, been through so far, which totals eight, believe it or not, in less than a week. So go on, what, which ones are they? So we started in New Jersey, then New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts. Uh, we hit New York again, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, and District of Columbia. So it's been, um, yeah, the journeys have been fine, apart from the first two. Going down to Atlantic City was um, was bad on the main freeway down there, and then uh, going past New York up to Mohegan Sun was a bit uh, a bit hairy. But other than that, they've actually been pretty clear. So just to say hello to a few of you in there, Lydia, how you doing, Lydia? Uh, Kino Kid, how you doing, mate? Um, Angela Gorman, Mike Schuster, Bill Long, Gaz, how you doing Gaz, University of Turmoil, how you doing mate, Stephen Graff, PJ's in the house, hey Romeo, Vegas my way, how are you, uh, Hull Caliph, Aid, how you doing uh, Hull, um, Michelle Williams, uh, Matt, uh, Black Country Vlogger, Dawn, how you doing Dawn, it was lovely to meet you the other day in, uh, in Seneca, it really was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Tina Lanning, how you doing Tina? Oh, Colin's in the house as well, how you doing Colin? Hey Colin. I hope you haven't been working too hard, Cole. <laughs> anyway, we, we, we're just here really for a general chat about anything you, you're interested in in terms of uh, this trip so far. Obviously you've seen up until, well, either um, Mohegan or if you're quick off the mark today, um, Seneca Niagara. Um, there's another one uh, popping up tomorrow for MGM National Harbour, which was a, a fantastic evening. Um, now we had a couple of questions earlier on, one from um, Instagram from In It For The Chocolate Biscuit who asked, um, basically, has, have either of us got annoying habits that the other one has found out about during all this long distances in the car? So I'll let, I'll let, I'll let um, Jules take the story. You're gonna, you're gonna go first? Uh, I'll go first. <laughs> okay, so um, I thought about this question and really, I get along Matt, everyone knows that Matt's an easy, going guy so nothing really super annoying although uh, we're obviously listening to a lot of music uh, in the car we, we made a, a quick playlist and in addition to our playlist that we contributed to we decided to pick an album each day to share with one another and uh, that was going really well Matt shared one of his albums and I was driving and I and I listened to it and we talked about it and it, it was great and I was like okay you know, let me do my album and uh, I put my album on, and then maybe like 10 minutes into the album, I look over and, and Matt has his headphones on, <laughs> editing the vlog. <laughs> and it was probably my scene that did Yeah, the, it was uh, basically, it wasn't the album, it was an XTC album. He's <laughs> mad on XTC. If you think I'm mad on uh, Soft Cell and Morrissey, he is mad on XTC. And it wasn't the album, the album was actually quite good. It was his singing over yeah. the top, which was like crazy loud. And he was lurching all over the seat. You, you so. could have said to just just stop it with the singing. <laughs> anyway, but no, so. it was just funny, just ear, ear headphones in, editing. And it, was, <laughs> it was funny, I was like, well, I guess we're not sharing albums anymore. Yeah, but, but uh, that's, and then, uh, oh, and then your contact lenses, that's, that was crazy. Oh, oh my contact lenses, yeah, go and tell that story quickly as well. Matt, Matt wears daily contact lenses, and when he runs out of uh, solution, he likes to use his saliva. <laughs> So, which, which I've never seen. I was like, good God, man, what are you doing? He's in the car, like, licking his con. Anyway. I don't do it this often. Is, this is probably more information than people It really is, yeah. And, and to be honest with you, my tongue hasn't been anywhere too bad. In fact, it's probably just a Budweiser bottle, so it's a quick way of ingesting it, I guess. But there you go. Um, anyway, and um, we had another question about the, the hire car situation. Did you want to just summarize the hire car? Sure, so I, the question was... Like, uh, how much was it? Yeah, yeah. And what did we get? And 
So, so we got a standard SUV for safety reasons. We're not going to like reveal the make and model of the car, uh, but um, it was uh, a, lo a local branch that I worked with. That I had a relationship with the branch manager, so we were able to get uh, a brand new 2023. Uh, good standard SUV uh, with low mileage on it um, and it, 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 for I think most it would just be uh, a little over 4,000 to rent it for the month uh, and then plus you know obviously for uh, gas that you have to put into it and uh, there is a one-way fee uh, that you have to consider when you get the vehicle uh, a one-way drop-off fee because we're leaving it in Las Vegas and I'm flying back I'm not driving that drive again. No, no, no. So, um, so just consider that if you do something like that in the future, um, you're going to have to, it's a premium for every mile you drive it one way. I mean, Jules did um, two blocks of 13 hour drives just to yeah. meet me. I mean, this yeah. is, you know, it's, it's crazy. It really is. So. That was the hardest part of the trip. All yeah. these other ones are piece of cake now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks, Aid, for the super chat. Thanks very much. You're a star, mate. Um, and D Car, thanks also for the super chat. Um, D Car says, please bring back the old music at the end of the video. I miss the old school song and pictures of Vegas. I will, as soon as I hit Vegas, the old intro will be back and the old outro will be back. I did think of uh, adding it in, but it didn't seem right to put Vegas sites in a road trip that didn't include Vegas. So as soon as I get to Vegas on the 1st of July, everything that was there before will be back. So um, hopefully you'll be happy about that. Uh, God, we've got 259 people. Wow, that's incredible. I, this, is a, this is my first live stream, so I'm. <laughs> this is crazy. And Stan uh, Waxberg asks, "Hey, doing Stan? What are the resorts for the Vegas stay? Uh, I'm staying at uh, Park MGM first. I, come, I arrive there the night before Suzanne flies in. She flies in on the second of Jan, um, January, second of uh, July, um, and we then go down. We're there four nights. We then go down to Plaza for five, and we then go to." Aria for four. Uh, so we're very much looking forward to it. We've got uh, all sorts of restaurants booked and uh, events happening. So it's, uh, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I haven't seen it for, I won't have seen it for three weeks, you know, so it's, uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing it on the uh, 2nd of June. Uh, 2nd of July, sorry. But I am uh, phoning it every day, so we're in contact. <laughs> Uh, Joe Northern, uh, can't wait for Saturday. Speaking of which, where are we on Saturday? Can you remember? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I can't what, remember what day that is. Today? I, I know it yeah. day by day. So, okay, so tomorrow we're in Michigan City. Yeah. Uh, and tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Saturday we're in St. Louis. Oh, St. Louis. Okay. So I was, I'm assuming I'll see you there then, Joe. The days of the week are just. It, like it is mess. honestly. I can only people keep sending me messages saying, "Oh, what's the plan for this day and that day?" And I, I just can't think apart from today, here, now. Um, it, it's just, uh, yeah, it's quite, quite crazy. Um, he says, "How many Budweisers will be consumed in the city of Budweiser?" I'm clearly buying a few. Well, we are going on the Budweiser tour. Yeah. I'm not sure how popular it is these days, but we are going to do it. Um, and so, yes, quite a few, I would imagine. And stock cars, just wanted to say we are loving the vlogs. Thanks for the super chat, mate. Also got my shirt. Uh, thanks for buying it, matey. Um, hope you are having amazing luck here in the USA. Hand pays for days. Well, we've done, I've done pretty well on the gambling. It's actually been okay. Um, and the hand pay situation, which no doubt you've seen, uh, that's old news now. Um, to be honest, now I've got one withheld. I might as well add to it because I'm going to do a tax return anyway. Uh, so <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm quite chilled. If they want to withhold 30%, I'll just claim it back next year and it's gambling money for next year. So um, it, was, it was just the way it was handled more than the actual prince. Well, yeah, it was, whatever. We, we've moved on. And Veronica uh, Contreras. How, how are you doing, Veronica? Uh, what an epic trip. Can't wait to see the rest of your adventure. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. I am working hard to make them as good as I can. I think uh, Jules's um, little maps with the car going around and sort of uh, splicing that in with the actual arrival is such a good start to it. Um, and I'm trying to sort of do a little walk around of each one to show, because a lot of people don't know these places and um, it's quite interesting to see casinos across America, it really is. I, and one thing I think that I've been quite surprised about, I don't know about you, is just how busy they all are, even yeah. midweek. Well, it's, it's summer, I think, here in the Northeast, so yeah. people are, Happy to be out and about, and yeah, they've all been packed. National Harbor was packed last night. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, National Harbor, by the way, I, I did really like that. It's, uh, it sort, of, it does sort of have a, um, a Bellagio vibe, doesn't it? it yeah. With the conservatory, it's yeah. like a mini conservatory there. 
uh, and they've got a, a Bellagio patisserie around it. And very I don't know whether they changed. Very, yeah, very, very and very clean. It was very yeah, clean. It was. Uh, Steve Hanstock, see you in Vegas and possibly Reno. Cheers, Steve. Stephen Lowe, just watched a Niagara video. I hope you enjoyed it, Stephen. Um, Cinnamon, how are you doing, Cinnamon? I know I'm seeing you in um, in California, right? Uh, Steve Geist, have I pronounced that? Was it Geist? Geist. Um, great meeting you last night. What is the best thing you've eaten on the trip so far? Oh, I know what this is. Right, now this is funny. Um, I probably should have vlogged this, actually. Uh, but I looked at I looked at the breakfast menu in uh, in Atlantic City, and Jules pointed out the um, was it chicken and waffles? Chicken right? and waffles, yeah. And I thought chicken and waffles. I don't, you don't have chicken and waffles. It's no, no. Separate. You asked me what was in it. Yeah. And I told you, well, this is what it is. And you go, that sounds terrible. Yeah. I think I'll have it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, you've got to try these things, right? Um, so it's basically chicken with waffles with like a honey glaze, and then there was like some other sweet type sauce. I can't remember what it was. It was absolutely delicious. So uh, Bridget's uh, tip for the day is um, chicken and waffles for breakfast. Very nice. Uh, a couple more super chats. Um, second. Sandra O'Brien, thank you very much, Sandra, uh, for the super chat. Best series yet. Love sitting down in the evening and watching. I'm trying to keep them as regular as I can, um, because basically if I got behind, having all the footage and everything flying around, it would just be too complex. So I'm really trying to do them every day. Um, it remains to be seen whether I'll maintain that, but that's certainly the, uh, the plan. And I really want to do one per day. Uh, I don't want to double up if I can help it. So some of them may be a little bit short. I don't know. So far it's been great. Um, it's quite something because I was trying to explain this to Jules now. I forget what day it is because I'm uploading uh, one from two days ago while I'm editing one from the previous day and I'm filming one from the present day So it's so complicated in terms of just remembering what day it is and and what, what your what which vlog you're working on and what stage it's at but um, Thankfully Jules has done all of the driving and uh, I'm gonna do a bit in, in sort of middle America uh, But uh, he's been a star with the driving. Have, right. you, have you found it? I found the driving. Yeah, the driving's great. Oh, well, I mean, like really doing those long first two legs before you yeah. just really helped. And I, we've both driven uh, with rideshare, so we're used to long drives. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it's exciting because I know there's a, a blackjack table at the end of it. Exactly. So I and this man hit the gas. This man <laughs> is laser focused on the blackjack people. Laser focused. But we, we have a laugh in the car, don't we? Oh. Totally. I mean, it's, it's a real, real laugh. It's, um, it makes the hours go by. It, they really go by smoothly. really quick. They really yeah. do. Lydia, thank you so much for the super chat. That's very kind of you. Here's some money for your St. Louis visit. I will oh. see you in two days. If you have time, I'm hoping you get a chance to see the Arch Grounds uh, and the Free Museum there. We'll be right next to the Arch. Oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, Okay, Karen Fair. How are you doing, Karen? Um, are you getting comp drinks at all casinos? Now, the, the drink situation actually is quite an interesting one. Um, basically, the, be I mean, the best drink system was Caesars in Atlantic City, as you've probably seen from the vlog, where you basically just pressed, it was basically three spins and a free drink. <laughs> That's how it was. So you just pressed Budweiser, Budweiser, and they were over with you within five minutes. The only uh, sort of restriction was you can only order one every 20 minutes um, and I'm happy to say I did actually ex try and exceed that once but uh, on the whole that was enough really so but as, the further we've gone on um, the like MGM National Harbour closed they closed the, the bar down didn't they last night they no, the, bar, the bar was closed but you had to get the drink I thought from there was the, Seneca that closed it at one no Seneca closed at one full stop so you couldn't yeah, get yeah. any drinks at one uh, after 1 a.m. Oh, so you might yeah. as well just close the, yeah, the National, casino down. National Harbour closed at like 2 or something. Yeah, whatever time it was. They, they closed the bars down, but you could then order from the cocktail waitress. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I know we've got we've got a casino, I can't remember which one it is, where you can't drink on the on the gaming floor, you have to drink in the bar. I think it's That's in Albuquerque. It's in Albuquerque, Albuquerque. Yeah. okay. So there's, there's lots of var variations with regards to the, the drinks. Um, but yes, yesterday's one, for example, at MGM National Harbour, you had to pay for all of them. There's no free drinks at all uh, in that particular area. So I, I got a $7 Red Bull, and I was shocked. 
at the table, you know. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, gambling exactly. like yeah, lots yeah, of money. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that'll be seven dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Three hundred and nine people in the chat. Wow, people. That's uh, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Um, Angela Gorman, how are you doing, Angela? Did you ask for a host at MGM because they would have comped you some stuff based on your Vegas play? I didn't. Um, I mean that. To be honest with you, I, 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 these were booked weeks and weeks ago now. Uh, I was a bit concerned that maybe we couldn't get a room somewhere. So as soon as I, I, I sort of monitored all of the prices for ones where they weren't comped to try and get the lowest. And then when all of the, the, the uh, other weeks were sort of high or it looked like they may go up, I sort of just hit the button and booked it. I couldn't really take a chance on it. We had to just m m make a decision and book them and uh, just to make sure we were in and we knew what we were doing. So um, I, ha I haven't got a host at MGM though. Gambling Granny, how are you doing? Look forward to seeing you uh, in a few days. Uh, TC, how are you doing, TC? How many Smiths albums have you listened to on this trip? Actually, none. Well, I thought Panic. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we basically have a, a, a road trip playlist. So if you go into Spotify and you uh, type in Bridger Across America, there's a six and a half hour. Is it six and a half hours? Six and a half hour. Six and a half hour playlist, and we must have played it. How so many times? <laughs> we played it every day. <laughs> every so, day. Yeah. Uh, so if you're on the way to see Matt, yeah. make sure you go to Spotify and bring up Bridger Across America. Yeah. You can listen to what we listen to on the way to the casino. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a mad XTC fan, uh, Sting fan. I'm obviously soft sells. Uh, but but Smith. we're both kind of in the scene. Yeah, we both, we both, so. yeah, we both appreciate each other's taste. And uh, if it wasn't for his singing, I'd love, I'd love the XTC I, I, stuff. I'm not singing anymore. <laughs> I, won't, I won't sing over my favorite songs. <laughs> He's word perfect. He's better than I am with the ones that I know. I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, uh, Veronica, are you back again? Hi, thank you for that. Um, at the end of your trip, can you possibly recap which resort had the best new player promotion for awards? Uh, hmm, well, I mean, none of them, but so far have been particularly good. I didn't even uh, use the $15. It, yeah. Me I mean, it's just signing up and, you know, $15 yeah. here, $10 there. The, the, so. the, 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 and it's one night, so it's really nice. This is the thing. And the thing, thing with it is, um, I mean, we are herring around. Uh, we literally arrive at sort of three or four. Um, the first thing we do is sort of check in, get the player's card, go upstairs, maybe grab an hour's sleep or something, have a shower, and we're down for gambling, then we're up the following day and out. Yeah. So it is, I mean, it is, it is incredibly... Quick. And we're out before we can even talk to us. So. Yeah, exactly. So we haven't really got time to um, do huge amounts of uh, all of the stuff that people say, oh, you must do this or, or eat this or go there. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is, it is a quick turnaround. Um, so, uh, I mean, but it, as a rule of thumb, the, you know, the, the new promotions have been like 10, 15 bucks for free play, hasn't it? Um, the only thing I did do at Atlantic City is uh, upgraded at uh, Hard Rock with my Diamond um, Caesars card uh, for their top um, rock royalty card, which I think gets me a free cruise if I want one and uh, a couple of free nights, so that's worth doing. Um, would love to, uh, this is uh, Danita SNJ, love the vlogs, would love to see more of the travel time stuff, bloopers, if you will, the funny stuff in the car. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh I'm, You don't want me to record him singing, that is <laughs> <laughs> um, Ron Triple Stars, uh, hi Ron, uh, thanks for, for dropping in, it was fantastic to see you and Brooke the other day. Uh, Ron uh, was so kind, he basically gave me a comp room at uh, Seneca Niagara and also yeah. he escorted us down to Niagara Falls which as I mentioned in the vlog was a sort of lifelong ambition of mine um, so it's so kind Ron and um, I hope we get to meet in Vegas soon I really do um, Vegas my way uh, Romeo how are you doing right you've got a two-part question as you're on a 600 budget how are you managing the cash as I'm sure you ain't bringing 30k cash as you can only bring in 10k and for Jules you're a high stake player how's your budget um, I'll go first um, okay. Yeah, I basically bought uh, $9,731, it was, from memory, uh, just to keep under the 10000 Incidentally, when I uh, went through customs at Newark, she said, how much money have you got? And I told her the exact amount. And she said, oh, you're just trying to keep under the limit. I said, well, yes. She said, well, it's not illegal to bring in more than 10, you know, um, just to declare it. And you, you literally go downstairs, sign a form, and, and you're on your way. So she was actually very friendly. Um, but I suppose it depends on who you get at. At, um, at border control, um, I, I then put um, so I've got yeah nine thousand whatever. I then put eight thousand pounds on a Wise card, which gives you basically four thousand a month ATM withdrawals. 
So I've got 4,000 until the end of June on, on this trip, and I've got another 4,000 for the Vegas side. Um, and then uh, Suzanne's bringing another 9,000 something on the 1st of July. So that's pretty much how I got round the 10,000 max. Yours? Uh, I brought enough money to keep gambling at the blackjack table as much as I need to. So I brought a lot of money. He has, yeah. I'm not going to go into No, no, we'll, we'll, move, we'll move on. But yes, Jules, Jules is, um, is, is uh, he's, bought, he's bought enough to, to, to last him. Uh, how you doing, Tom Elliott? How you doing, matey? And uh, May, how are you? Vegas Pete, how are you doing? Um, Kira McCauley, how are you? Um, hi, Matt and Jules. Uh, when, when are you most looking forward to going on this journey? Where are you most looking forward to going on this journey? And what will be the bud count after five weeks? Uh, did you want to answer that? Not the bud count. Uh, where, 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 are you, where are you looking forward to going? Uh, I'm, Beau Revives is the next one that I'm looking forward to. I was really excited about going back to Mohegan Sun. I had been there um, a few times before. It was great to go back. It, it felt like a like a, a warm bath walking back into that casino. Um, uh, so I'm looking. I, I've never done the casinos in the Deep South. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, some of those down there, especially in uh, in uh, Biloxi, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Gowaldi, thank you so much for the super jack, Chris. That's very uh, kind. Um, uh, yeah, for me, I mean, well, the, the places that I insisted on on ha having in the itinerary were, or in the sh schedule, were uh, AC, uh, Seneca, Niagara, uh, New Orleans, um, and Reno. I think from memory. Yeah. Uh, so all of those places, uh, Biloxi, I'm excited for. Because I've learned about it since, in terms of a, like a mini Bellagio, that, that should be quite cool to visit. Um, I'm quite interested to go sort of um, deep south in general, just to see how. Because we've, we've had a lot of New York accents, haven't oh, we? The last yeah, yeah. Uh, the last and you were really looking forward to Win Windstar as well. Oh, just, Windstar, yeah, sorry, Windstar as well. How yeah, big yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. No, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, the bud count. Um, wow. Uh, basically, I'm taking milk thistle every day, which is a, is a liver tonic. Um, and actually, I mean, despite the fact I can consume it pretty well. I haven't had really any hangovers. It's, uh, I'm up and out and we carry on. I'm always so impressed with Matt yeah. and his drinking. One or two for me and I'm done for the night. Yeah. But and especially in Niagara Falls, because everyone was buying yeah. a drink and there was a lot of people there. Yeah, Niagara Falls was probably the, the closest I've been to it getting completely messy. Um, <laughs> and bear in mind we had quite a long journey to get to MGM National Harbour the following day. Um, I could have wilted, but I just focused on the fact that even if I'm dog tired, we uh, once we were at uh, MGM, we could have a lie in this morning and then come to Rocky Gap, and it was two and a half hours. We haven't so. used the pillows in the car. No, yes, that's yeah. no, exactly. And and yeah, and, yeah uh, uh, Jules kindly uh, packed some pillows because I thought we, you know, one of us would have a sleep or whatever. But I, I don't think that's going to happen, actually. Maybe not. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll but, see. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe with the long drives, it might. You don't, you don't know. Um, okay. Uh, Next question, uh, Ron R. How you doing, Ron? Jules, what table game do you like, or do you like slots more? Oh, I like blackjack more, but yeah. uh, it's relaxing for me to play slots, especially to play slots with uh, Matt. Yeah, we've so. been. Um, I mean, basically, I mean, we, we we were very different with our gambling um, personality, shall I say? Mm -hmm. In as much as uh, I'm a very emotional gambler, and I will, um, I sort of have to feel the machine and feel. I can't just. And I, once I'm on it, I just probably have a bonus and move. Whereas he's very much, much more methodical. Once he's in it, he's in it, and he's trying to yeah. hit I, it. But. I have hours I want to hit yeah. like, per day, so I was like, okay, man, I gotta get my four hours in or yeah. my eight hours if it's a full day. So, but actually, our, our gambling together has gone pretty well, hasn't it? Yeah, I like those little late night yeah capper sessions. Yes, yeah. uh, before we go to bed, we. Yeah, we tend to we tend to double up there because we're we not doing Starbucks runs on the really early days. Obviously, yeah. it's very difficult. And, and I like that you know we spend so much time together in the car, but we're cool and we can just sort of go our own way in the casino. Yeah, and then just reconnect later. Because yeah. if I was a full time slots player, I'd be like, oh man, yeah, what's going on over there? You know, it, it would get. I think we get yeah. sick of each other. No, it's true, and that, it, that does complement yeah. the trip, doesn't it? If yeah. we travel together all day, Jules then goes and does his, his thing, I go and do mine, and then we meet up later on. And, and then we check in, how, how yeah. you do that, you know, we, yeah. have, it works we pretty well. talk about it, because we weren't involved in it together. So. Uh, Gary Phillips, how are you doing, Gary? Um, hi guys, really enjoying the vlogs. How are the free drinks going, and how many rooms have you got comped on the trip? 
free drinks, are, uh, well, where I can get them, they're going fine. Uh, in terms of the comp, basically for five whole weeks on this, um, this trip, uh, I've got a vast number of comps, um, most of them with Caesars, because basically with Caesars, if you change cities, there is no requirement to leave a gap between comp bookings. So uh, I've pretty much booked on, on a number of um, uh, cities, I've booked Caesars back to back. So uh, over five weeks, the, the, my total hotel bill is around about $1,800. And bearing in mind that MGM National Harbour on its own was 300 of that, and Rocky Gap here was 250 of that, that's actually pretty damn good, right? So, um, yeah. and how many, did you, uh, have you worked out what you Because he, he got extra comps because he's... Um, yeah, because MGM has better status, platinum. yeah. So I got almost all the Caesars comps, and then I got MGM, all the MGM properties comps. And then, uh, of course, I paid for a nice suite at Mohegan. Yeah. So, uh, but it, it wasn't. Uh, the nice thing, a lot of these were already paid in advance because they were one nighter. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, they're already like in, in the books. So, they're, they're really, I mean, for three weeks, it's like nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I would say, I would say, you know, aside from the. Uh, uh, obviously, the, the car-related expenses and the, and the gas, which is, is cheap here compared to the UK anyway. Um, the uh, yeah, the, the, the hotels are very, very cheap. So it's really just down to gambling and how well you do. Yeah. Um, she pays Lee. How you doing, mate? Um, you guys are pure entertainment, both when you're together on your vlog and Matt when you're solo. It's the highlight of my day watching your videos. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Cheers from Canada. Cheers from Rocky Gap. <laughs> Right, D car. Uh, yeah, I've already read that one out about the uh, the music at the end. That will come back. Um, Robin Richmond, how you doing, Robin? Great trip so far. Hope you're having fun. Hopefully, get to see some Diamond Queen. Are we going to play oh, Diamond yes, Queen? Yes, we need to play Diamond Queen. For we sure. Do. We do. If not, for sure in Vegas. Yeah, definitely. We're going to have to give no, that. That'll be a good capper, maybe. Yeah, maybe to, towards the end, yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I doubt I'll get through it without, without, uh, uh, without trying it out, at least. Uh, Mike Lee, thank you for the super chat, Mike. Um, if you're driving south, go through the Smoky Mountains to Harrah's Casino in Cherokee. Uh, is that on the way? Oh, uh, in North Carolina? Yeah. What was the casino called? Harris. Uh Smoky Casino, right? Uh, it just says Harris Casino in Cherokee, NC. Yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah we're not going to be able to make it to North Carolina. We're already headed west uh, towards uh, Chicago, and uh, then we go directly south. So unfortunately, when we were designing the trip, I consider we considered going down to North Carolina. Uh, if we were, we would have gone from National Harbor down to North Carolina, uh, but it, to go in that direction, it would have, it, we just didn't have enough time, frankly, to fit everything in. So we had to, we kind of have to start moving uh, towards the West Coast. So um, now phase two starts tomorrow and, um, you know, we're, we're headed West, so. Um, um, unfortunately, we'll, we'll, I don't know if we'll get to do it, but I, I know it's nice over there. Yeah. There's plenty of Harris uh, casinos that we're staring at, though. Yeah, there is a lot, yeah. That's one of the reasons I didn't bother with the Harris at Atlantic City when it, it, I was pushed for time because I'm staying in so many of them. Um, Aid, Hull Caliph, how you doing, Aid? Um, so far, what are the differences between where you visited and Vegas? Uh, by the way, XTC are fantastic. And oh, he, who's, he, who said that? This is Aid, my uh, fellow Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, make, uh, make sure you send me a friend request. Friend, yeah. uh, I'm <laughs> the biggest XTC fan. So anyone who knows uh, XTC and their music, I'm I'm automatically your good personal friend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, actually, uh, Aid knows a lot. He's, 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 he knows a lot about music, so uh, oh, good. I would respect See, his opinion. He's, he's, if you know something about music, you yeah. know, you know. All right, I won't, anyway, so I won't what, get on it. So what the main difference between where we visited in Vegas for you? Uh, well, in Vegas, everything is really convenient. Uh, everything is really close and compact. You can move from casino to casino. Everything you here is just uh, it's spread out, and there's not always like um, the vacation feel mm. in some of these casinos. Yeah. Like in Vegas, I feel like every there's so many people on a vacation. Um, there's like an air of like pure enjoyment, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And in some of these casinos, uh, it's just, to me, it's, the locals have a little different vibe to it. Not that it's not uh, fun, but it's just uh, it's just a little bit different. Nothing quite um, beats Vegas, for, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I would agree. I mean, I think, I, I've, I've been surprised how big these regional casinos are. And certainly MGM National Harbor could be a Vegas casino. Obviously, Mohegan Sun 100% could be, and Seneca Niagara even. Uh, some of the casinos in Atlantic City were the slot selection wasn't up to up to it really. 
Um, but again, Hard Rock there was very smart. Ocean was fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, there's been there's Vegas elements to it all. I guess just Vegas, you just have all of that on steroids. Really, it's uh, I mean the spectacle is is obviously vastly um, uh, better. Uh, and yeah, the feel and jumping. Uh, for, for example, in Atlantic City, the one thing I I got slightly frustrated with was the fact that um, with my Caesar's um, uh, rewards card, I couldn't do a, like a typical say a, an MGM. Um, casino crawl from sort of Park MGM all the way down to Mandalay Bay using the same card but having a different experience in each of the properties but that's one thing I like to do but you, you had Tropicana who had Caesars Rewards you had uh, Caesars Palace and then you went to Bally's which had its own rewards card then you're up to Resorts yeah. which had its own then you're Hard Rock which had its own then um, Ocean uh, that had its own so it would be very difficult you have to stay in one place which you'd end up getting bored I think yeah Certainly as a slots player, I would end up getting bored. I mean, I, I felt I, after three days, I totally exhausted the Caesars Casino, really, because it wasn't as big as the Vegas one. Uh, so, yeah. But I feel you could do, like, a long time in Vegas very easily, but I don't feel you could do a long time in Atlantic City. I don't know if you agree with that. Like, three days is probably max. Yes, I would say three days for Atlantic City. You wouldn't, you wouldn't need to do more than that. We, I really felt we'd done it after yeah. that, that time. Yeah. Uh, but it was... It far exceeded my expectations in terms of cleanliness, how safe I felt. The boardwalk looked pretty smart. Uh, I, was, I just, I really enjoyed it there. I really did. I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I would certainly be up for going back at some point. But it would have to be when the weather's good. I, I certainly wouldn't go there in the winter. I don't yeah. know. Uh, Mike uh, Ungerman says, when you show slot play, I'd like to see a few pools presses when you start playing before you win a bonus. Uh, I, I know what you're saying, Mike. I, I, I've just always just shown the bonuses. Um, I like to keep the vlogs roughly half an hour or so, and it's, uh, I just prefer doing bonus play only, really. Um, no, yeah, I mean, there are plenty of slot channels that do that, um, and it's just the way I've always done it, and I prefer to do it that way, really. Uh, Lydia says, I just can't get over the production quality of your vlogs, amazing. Thank you for that. I have to say that there's, there's three, actually, sorry, four uh, key components of that, excluding me. One is the um, video quality on the S23 Ultra is absolutely out of this world, even compared to the S22. Uh, secondly, it's Jules and his maps. Thirdly, it's uh, um, Carl and his transitions and intro. And uh, fourthly, it's uh, uh, Michael from Vegas Baby uh, and his logo. So all of those people have had a little input into making my um, ramblings seem uh, professional, <laughs> basically. Uh, okay, next question. Sorry, I'm not going down these very quickly, but... Uh... So, Sid Longley, how are you doing, Sid? Uh, Matt, can you uh, reassure Bev you will do a shoe review when Suzanne joins you? If oh, yes, the shoe review. Yeah, I did actually mention it to Suzanne, and uh, she's up for it, and uh, she's actually bought some new ones. So, yes, I can, I, I can definitely do that. Uh, CAD says, have, have the US dropped the COVID mandates? Yeah, I've not really heard of anything on COVID, either on the flights or anything since we've been here. COVID's done. Yeah. Um, Paul uh, Goony, how you doing, Paul? Paul Goony, Dad. Um, do you think the complimentary drink option AC is good? Yeah, I do, basically. And do I think uh, Las Vegas will adopt it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it should. I mean, it's, it's far better than uh, what we currently have, which is totally hit and miss. Uh, a, a Stu and Sue Vegas fun, how you doing mate? Um, Matt and Jules question is, what would you consider a good result at the end of the trip gambling wise? <laughs> you go oh, first. For me? No, but yeah, you both of us, but yeah, you go oh, I, Well, I set a goal of how many hours I wanted to play and if I hit those hours, I'll be satisfied with whatever happens. That sounds weird, I know. Yeah. It, I don't really deal with uh, the, the money aspect of it. I just uh, look at it as uh, trying to uh, get the hours that I want to play. Uh, yeah. yeah, for me, um, I know it sounds, for this particular trip, I actually don't really care. Um, normally I would, but for this particular trip, this is a retirement celebration and the money is there to spend. Um, if I take any home, I'll, I'll be happy, uh, but I'll only be happy if I take money home where I felt I've really gone for it over the course of five weeks and I've, for my level anyway, um, bet to the max. That's, that's really the only way I can say. Uh, I've held my own thus far, quite successfully. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but again, just taking it one day at a time and 
I'm, you know, I'm sort of taken out about a grand a night now, um, and I, I'm no different playing now than I would be. And as much as if I'm up money, I still go into protection mode, and if I'm down money, I still try and chase. It's just the way I am. So uh, yeah. Uh, Jan Paul uh, asked, "What has surprised you all the most?" Anything? Uh, for me, it's it's AC being uh, far nicer than I thought it would be. I think. Yeah, I think Ocean Casino really surprised me. Uh, how nice it was in there. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah. That's the biggest surprise. Yeah. Uh, Brian Dance attempted to come and see you at Beau Rivage. Do it, Brian. I'll yeah. uh, I'll buy you a beer. But do it on Monday if you can. Yes, th yeah, actually, yes, good point. Um, don't uh, arrive the first night, which is it the 18th? I can't, I can't remember. Whenever the first night is on the, on the plan, which is... I think we get on the 19th, maybe. Okay, well, I don't know. The anyway, whatever the first night is, and it, uh, I'll put the... Uh, well, all, all of the vlogs have the uh, schedule in the description. Whenever that first night is, we're going to be relatively late because we've got a huge journey That's to... That's the biggest leg. Yeah, that is the biggest drive. So don't come that night, come the second night. Uh, Sharon Bauer, how are you doing, Sharon? Uh, sorry, uh, Gary first, Gary Darlin. Looking forward to meeting you both tomorrow at the Blue Chip. See you there, Gary. Uh, Sharon, how are you liking retirement? I'm loving it. I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> really? Uh, you know, I still do Uber. I still do Uber, and I will always do something. Um, and I'm actually starting uh, a little project with Vegas Baby, uh, reviewing uh, slots online when I get back. Um, which is going to be fun. Uh, one second. Pete G, 1980. Hey, Pete. Hi, Matt. Just want to say I love the channel. Love your America tour. Thank you very much. Uh, Kirk Fam, how you doing, Matt? Um, what's been the favourite part of the trip so far? Honestly, all of it. I, I honestly can't. It's just the whole thing is, is actually a sheer joy. Um, and the fact that we get along so well is is, is fantastic as well. And um, there's been a, you know, a couple of things with a hand pay where I, I got very annoyed. That would be an understatement. I lost my rag. Um, you had a bit of an issue the other day. Yeah. Um, which we won't go into. But um, I, I think the exciting part for me is that we've been planning it for so yeah, long. Yeah, we have. And to yeah. be in the midst of like executing it, I, that really is the best yeah. part. Even even when like I'm sure plenty of people go to, to Vegas or something, you spend all those weeks planning it and then when you're actually doing it that does the really exciting it's just to be able to to go day by day and accomplish the what we set out to do i think really at the end of it it's going to be it's going to feel really great yeah um, ian cooper makes an interesting point here or question um anyone know why most new slots seem to be six ball games or three bad games how many do we need <laughs> <laughs> Because people are playing them, probably, that's why. But where's the creativity nowadays? Uh, I know what you're saying, but I don't know, I like them. I do. I, I just, uh, for me, it's exciting to me. Um, but I do know, I understand what you're saying. If you're not a fan of those, uh, you'll struggle to get much, because everything's a variation on a theme, really. 434 people in the chat now. Wow. Is, that's pretty good. That's incredible. Thank you ever so much for joining us. We're going to do another one of these after phase two, by the way. Um... Next question. I'm I'm really behind with these. I'm really sorry. It's just impossible to keep up. Speed up. Uh, hey, hey, Helen says I like the car and the map illustration, Jules. Oh, thank you. I had so much fun making those. They were they were a lot, and it helps with the driving because I've already done the drive, <laughs> kind of on the map. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, Daryl H says thanks for the live stream. Jules looks like he's ready to hit the links. Well, he's hit, ready to hit the tables. Are you both <laughs> eating better and more sleep than Las Vegas trips? Yeah, I'm eating fine actually. Uh, Jules eats well, more regularly than I do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, actually, the, the, I think the routine because we need to be up and out uh, helps me sort of level that off. So tonight, this morning, I had a decent breakfast before we left, and uh, I haven't eaten anything since. But I'll have something again tonight. So yeah, but no, actually, the eating's been okay. Uh, Nat Owls, 82, so uh, Nat's another Sheffield Wednesday fan. Uh, in fact, there's a, lot, there's a lot of us, and we all, we all love, I your, love we all love your little travel maps. I love, I love <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday. I'm a good Sheffield Wednesday fan now. Okay, um, Bobby Stewart says, thanks for the room tour videos too, Matt. I mean, some of them aren't much, you know, I only do three minutes, you know, but I think it's important just to show a little bit, just, in, you know, for my, for my entertainment as anything else. So, uh, I'll, I'll do one for each uh, property for what it's worth. If you don't like them, don't watch them, it's fine. Uh, Nicholas Slater, how are you doing Nicola? Uh, really enjoying these maps but couldn't help and shout 
Buffalo when that showed up on today's map. Oh, because we went to Buffalo. Oh, we went to Buffalo. Sorry, yeah, I thought you were talking about Buffalo as in Buffalo Gold. Buffalo, Buffalo we Stampede. We should have said that. We should have actually said it. Yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Pete G about uh, talking about the difference between the casinos in Vegas and where uh, we are now. What's the difference? I don't think it, actually in the casinos there's a great deal of difference in a lot of cases, is yeah. it? Um, it's more the outside element of Vegas where the difference is, to be honest. Um, Martin and Holly, how are you doing Martin? I hope you're both well. Um, any particular part of the trip either of you are feeling a bit nervous or daunted by, apart from the whole thing obviously, but I was about to say, I felt quite nervous and daunted about the whole thing as I got on the plane last Friday. I'm feeling very relaxed about it now. Uh, hopefully we both look fairly relaxed. Um, I, I don't think there's anything, I, I guess the first really long drive, yeah, but we'll um, just take it one hour at a time. They'll be able to do it between the two of us. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing that uh, I mean. I'm just enjoying the experience of. I mean, I love. For example, we went through Connecticut the other day, and I loved looking at the houses as we drove through Connecticut. It was such a lovely area. Some really, I mean, you know, houses worth millions and millions of dollars, um, and I just love looking at them and seeing them and just seeing America outside of a tourist view. So sort of driving through these little, some of these little towns we drive yeah, in, yeah. you know, where you, you know, you, you drive down the high street and it's, uh, it's they're quite enchanting, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so, that's, yeah. that's the fun part, it's just seeing them. It is. Uh, summer August, how are you doing, Summer? Um, hello from San Diego, wondering what issues you've had, if any, uh, recording the vlogs. Um, have you reached out to casinos for permission uh, for the pending casinos you'll visit? No, I haven't. Uh, I mean, it's been enough, enough just just, um, uh, just basically organising this, really. Uh, and I've just decided, as, I, as I, I've always done in Vegas, just to wing it. Uh, I've, I've been stopped, I've been stopped a couple of times in Atlantic City, but since then I haven't been stopped at all. Um, so, so far so good, but I, I, I'm sure I will get to one, uh, and somewhere like this, actually, I, I was looking around, I was thinking it was a bit small, and all you need is a secu there's one security guard on the door, and if he just decides that he doesn't want me doing it, um, then it, that could kibosh it, but we will see. I, I'll try and position myself in a little um, and sort of recess somewhere and uh, we'll see how it goes. But no, I haven't, I haven't got time to email them. Um, it, actually, funny enough, Seneca Niagara, um, somebody gave me a, the email for the head of slots to get approved and I said, well, if it's easy, I'll email her. So I emailed her and she said no. Um, <laughs> and uh, I arrived at Seneca Niagara, just started filming and there was no issue. So. You know, sometimes you're asking for trouble by asking, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, Paul Goonie there wants me to find a Goonie slot. I will try, Paul, if I see one. Oh, Rick, uh, Rick's here. How, how you doing, Rick? Um, my brother-in-law's here. Uh, now, Rick's 50. It's next, next year, Rick, isn't it? We're going to Vegas, mate. Don't forget. We need to sort that out. And we've got a super chat here from Mike Lee. Thank you, Mike. Congrats on your retirement, Matt. Enjoy the sights. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate that. Uh, Rick also asked how much sleep um, are we getting? Well, the first few days <laughs> up until yesterday was pretty bad. It was like... Four to six, right? Yeah, four, yeah, closer to the four, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, like, because obviously, you know, we've got the events in the, or people turning up in the evening. Um, so I've been rolling in bed about one, between one and two, and then sometimes getting up to six, between six and seven to start. Um, but last night I slept well, and uh, tonight, yeah, we're, we're here bright and early, so uh, we're, we're catching up. We tried to put little spots yeah. in the trip that we knew we could catch up on sleep. Like the, the next few days, we're gonna be pretty break, break neck pace. Yeah. But then when we get to Biloxi, it's gonna be a lot easier because we have a lot of uh, just short drives each day, so we'll be able to recover and then hit it hard again, and then we have some recovery time. And Michelle Williams, question for you here, Jules. Um, okay. A decent blackjack game is like finding a needle in a haystack in Las Vegas. How is it elsewhere? Uh, well, the the thing is, uh, it, it's all dependent on uh, the stakes that you play at, uh, what games uh, you can find. It, actually, in Atlantic City, I found that um, the rules were actually quite good, even just in general, out on the floor for $25 or something like that. Um, they still had really good tables. They have uh, a lot of stay on seven, soft 17 uh, tables out here, which is great. Uh, I think the rules are so far so good at some of these uh, 
uh, other casinos out here. I, I definitely think the rules are much tougher in Vegas. In order to get a good table, you, you have to be betting uh, probably fifty dollars or higher in order to get uh, a, a decent game. But um, I think you can find them a little more easily out here with the local casinos. That's my opinion. Uh, yes, good. Uh, I can't. Have, I don't have an opinion. Uh, <laughs> uh, Philip Yates. I'm not allowed to play blackjack anyway. Um, no, Philip, we won't get into that. <laughs> Philip Yates um, says, "I still don't understand how they kept 30 percent from your hand pay uh, because you had all of the paperwork." Well, basically, they didn't, for, care. they didn't care. They couldn't give a shit really. Um, he initially said it's company policy, and then he came around and said, "The problem is your item doesn't have the right first two digits." <laughs> I mean, in effect, what their problem was that they've ne probably never had a hand play or very rarely had a hand play with someone from abroad, um, and it's almost like the computer says no, um, and it didn't fit their you know, bog standard process, so they withheld. It's, it's almost like if in doubt, withhold. That's pretty much the, the rule of thumb, and uh, I'm over it now. As I said, I, I've got one to claim back, so let's hope we get a few more to claim back, really, if that's going to happen. That's fine. Um, Uh, and uh, Romeo says, what was your favourite casino in AC and sad you didn't give Bogata a walkthrough, was there a reason? Just time, uh, Romeo. I've literally, I, I, I could not fit any more into each day if I tried, I mean literally. Uh, we went there uh, for after breakfast and then I, I still wanted to visit some of the boardwalk casinos and you know, that, that was probably half an hour that I didn't have. Um, it, I, it, literally everything that's in the vlogs and the, 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 the schedule we've got is so tight um, it's doable but there's, there's no room for messing around really uh, I, I did like Bugatti though I have to say it was, uh, it was a nice property um, I, personally I'm happy I stayed on the boardwalk for a first timer it's a bit like saying you know um, yeah it's bit, as, as a first time Vegas uh, visitor you want to stay on the strip it's that, that same sort of principle for me uh, Gary says no free drinks at the blue chip guys. Oh well, just have to buy them then. Boo for Matt. Yeah. I won't be asked a question every 10 minutes at the table, <laughs> so that's good. Okay, uh, one second. Uh, um, Kirk fan, uh, Matt says, uh, just out of curiosity, have you, have you managed to get any comp emails or offers after visiting these casinos? Interestingly, I, I've now started getting emails from Harris Laughlin. I mean, I, I've Probably just like just random marketing Caesars, and but offering me free play and everything. So it must be from maybe Caesars. Probably obviously the Caesars play at uh, Atlantic City has obviously gone through to why that particular Harrah's. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Uh, Con Murphy says, "Do I have an overall budget?" I think I've already answered that. Um, it was roughly six hundred a day, but I haven't lost that, so it's now sort of up to a thousand. Um, and have I converted you, uh, Nat says, have I converted you to being a Wednesday night? Yeah, you're a Sheffield Wednesday fan, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I started watching because Matt was getting excited. So I was like, I'm going I'm to check this out. And that was the game that they came back and won with the five goals. So, uh, you know, hook, line, and sinker. I'm, I'm in with Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, Alfie and Charlie's Travel Addiction, listen to this, Okay. says, I was usher at XTC Colin Moulding do Moulding Moulding's daughter's wedding. Wow, is he from Swindon? Are you from Swindon? I, I love Alfie learning, yeah. or Charlie. That, 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 that's <laughs> awesome. I, that is a dream for me to go to Swindon and meet or try, try to bump into Andy in his shed and yeah. Colin having a, a pint somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ron says, How were the machines at Seneca after he left? And how did Jules do at Blackjack? I lost about, I think I lost 400 at Seneca. Um, they weren't great, but it wasn't a disaster. How was your black, Blackjack there? Uh, which property? <laughs> Seneca. Oh. <laughs> Not I won money at Seneca. Yeah, that's uh, it. And then, and then, yeah, it was, and then it was over dramatically. So yeah, exactly. All right, I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm way behind. I'm really sorry, guys. I, I'll do my best with this, but 432 of you, it's very difficult. Um, second. Okay, Gregory says, just finished watching your Niagara vlog, fantastic as ever. Can you reveal what happened there? Well, we have an idea for that. Right? Yeah, we have an idea for that. Um, there will be an announcement uh, to certain people at some point. 
Uh, do we uh, M and M Mets? Uh, sorry, M and B Mets says, do we use a self check in or do you prefer the desk? Desk. Yes, and you know what's been happening? We've been checking in together, and I, I've never checked in together with somebody. You know, we have separate room reservations, but um, a lot of the places, because we're checking in together, they put us really close together, and I think you got upgraded at, uh, at MGM National Harbor because you were with me. Yeah. I, I'm, that's what I think. I don't, I don't know. But we were on the same floor, and so yeah. you just go up there and... Uh, I usually give a twenty dollar tip. It's not a it's not a bribe or anything. I just give a twenty dollar tip to who's ever checking us in, and I say we're both checking in. Uh, we're on separate reservations, and uh, yeah, we've been getting good rooms. Yeah, it's been it's been. Uh, I, know, I got upgraded at MGM to a, a king suite. Uh, yeah. I didn't even ask for it, so it was because I was with uh, the main man here. Yeah. Uh, Danny from Vegas Introvert. Uh, Danny Stroke Vegas Introvert. How you doing, Danny? Um, he's basically coming to Lake Charles. He says you don't, it doesn't get any more dirty south than Lake Charles. I love it. Let's get down to the dirty south. Can I just say, Lake Charles, right? Oh, and um, Bucky's, right? Oh, well, yeah, and we need to, we need to find the Bucky's. Now, uh, Lake Charles, oh, actually, no, no, not, not Lake Charles. St. Louis was, uh, I always get mixed up one in crime. So, yes, <laughs> it was on the BBC News two days before I got on the plane. There was a 15-minute documentary but, about it, it being the most dangerous it, it, city in America. You just don't want to walk in certain areas. But yeah. we're not going to go there, so it's okay. You don't have yeah. to be scared. It's, it's, gonna, it's okay. I'll, it'll be fine. Now. I'm sure it'll be fine. But apparently one, one, one dead from shooting every two days there. So I've been told. Uh, Hogan2 said, how you doing, uh, guys? Uh, if you were sentenced to casino prison... <laughs> Hang on, it's flicked up. It, it was basically, if you, were, if you were sentenced to casino prison, what one casino from where uh, we've been so far would you stay at? Oh, well, Ocean for me. Ocean for jewels, that's an interesting oh. choice. For me, it would be Seneca, no, no sorry, no, no. For me, it would be Mohican Sun. Oh, yeah, that's, that's tough. I would, I would even accept 30% tax. So I, I just thought the whole thing uh, was just astonishing. I didn't even get to the Earth no, Casino. No, no, I, I, I agree. I, I want to change mine to Mohegan. I'm going to change mine to Mohegan. They have better blackjack rules. So. I, thought, I, thought, I just thought it was amazing there. Uh, Russell Bates says, do you both have a band that you wish you'd seen but missed it? We, we were actually talking oh, about yeah. this exact uh, subject, Jules. Yeah. Well, mine is XTC. I've never seen them live because they stopped playing live around like, 1982 or something. So, yeah. but, uh, uh, so that's easy. But, uh, and my, yeah. Mine is definitely the Sex Pistols. I, I, uh, I was too young initially. For some crazy reason when they reformed in 1996, I didn't go. I listened to it on a... Uh, like a radio live stream, well not stream, like a radio show. Um, and then in 2006, they did a week at Brixton Academy and the tickets just went crazy. All the scalpers got them and they were trying to sell them for a thousand uh, a night. Um, so I just couldn't get one for that. Um, and I really regret not seeing them live because I'd, I'd love to. Uh, next question. We're gonna, we're gonna keep this going, it's uh, five to five. Hour and 15 minutes. I'll see if I can run through some questions quickly. Uh, John McIntosh says, um, great job so far. Can I ask why you changed denominations on the slots rather than keep the same? Uh, I've always done that, really. I mean, sometimes I... I mean, I like doing the... Uh, on the link games, I like doing the uh, $5 on the dollar as a, as a sort of rule of thumb now, and that's actually him getting me into that. Um, but I also like doing the 50 cent versus five dollars um, as well. Uh, and actually, I was sat next to someone last night who said, I've just watched what you've done and you hit it on the five dollars. Do does that happen often? And I said, it actually does, surprisingly. Although it does go in cycles. I still think it's 50 percent, yeah. It probably is. Um, but it's very nice when you get it on the five dollars when you're only doing an average yeah. 250 bet. Um, and I do, I do get the 50 cent one. Someone commented on one video, you never seem to get the 50 cent uh, one. I do, but I just don't film the 50 cent versions, but um, I only ever film the $5 version. So but I tell you whether I'm up or down, so it's, um, that's how it is. Uh, but that's, I just, it's just habit, really. And uh, sometimes if, you, if you've got a bonus on one denomination, it's quite good to change denominations because it's a whole new game rather than change machines. Uh, uh, Petra S. Estorga, thank you ever so much for the super chat. Petra, that's uh, very kind. Um, Danita SNJ says you have to end the trip 
in Vegas with a collab with the troupe, but it'll be a great fun conclusion. That's actually not a bad idea. I've never met Tim, but uh, he did actually message me thanking me for what I said at the start of the first video. Um, so he's a top guy, top guy. Um, when am I back in Vegas next AD Snap? It's the 1st of July. Bradley Rosenberg, and this is a question for Jules. Did you guys use any specific casino directory to plan the trip? Uh, yeah, because Jules, Jules, Jules yeah. did the majority of the planning. I basically said where well, I really wanted to go, and he came back with a, a workable plan. So talk through how you did that. Uh, there's a casino gaming <clears throat> magazine that I subscribe to, and um, it broke it down by sections of the country. Uh, you, I believe you, uh, it's Casino Player Magazine. I believe you can find it online. Uh, they have an anniversary edition that comes out every year where they rank all the casinos uh, in each uh, region of the uh, United States. So they have it all broken out between tribal versus non-tribal and they do all the uh, geographical areas. So I, I kind of used a lot of that uh, magazine because it, it would rate them on, you know, best overall property, best, you know, tables, stuff like that. And it had, uh, the best thing was pictures that I could see from the outside and a couple pictures from the inside of a couple different places. So it was kind of that and then trying to just plan the route. So that's what I used. Yeah. And actually, while it's popped into my head, someone was talking about the car we're using. I just need to say something that um, I've, we, we've been laughing about for the last few days. is the number of uh, police on these oh, motorways. Yeah. I think that's just an American thing. It's, it's unbelievable. Honestly, they literally, they, I mean, in England... Well, because you, it's a highway patrol. That's, no, but, that's all they do. But they're, they're literally everywhere. I mean, you, you, you can't <laughs> put a foot wrong without... I mean, the other, yesterday... We used that guy that yeah, said, hey, you, get out. Literally oh, yesterday, this, this policeman, obviously, he was basically like, right, whose day am I going to ruin now? <laughs> and he was, he was stood at the side of the road, he probably just had a cough, and he, he sort of looked at oh, right, fuck it, I'm just going like, to pull someone over just for the hell of it. And this poor trucker came down the thing, and he was, he was like, doing all of this, come on, come on, I'm going to ruin your day. But they, 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 they stand waiting in such regularity, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, and um, I, I'm very conscientious, conscientious of being pulled over, so yeah. I'm watching our speed very closely, and it's it's a challenge because you you must we must pass like half a dozen each leg of the trip, so it's a bit nerve wracking. Yeah, it, well, <laughs> it, it is, and um, yeah, you wouldn't want to speed here, honestly. You really wouldn't. Uh, Tina Marie Diary says, "Do you have an Instagram or other social media?" that you post your updates for traveling, so maybe we can meet you guys at a certain time. Well, basically, the way, I mean, I, I, I normally post on Facebook, but as a rule of thumb, I'm trying to be in each casino at 8 p.m. Um, so I'll be at a bar in, in, in the casino at around 8 p.m. So far, I think everyone's found me. So uh, yeah, if, if wherever you're coming to, aim for 8 p.m. Uh, Raymond Van Orden says, what research did you do before going to AC? Did you watch any other vloggers? There's actually not many vloggers um, do AC. And actually a few people have com uh, commented on the videos that it's not a place that's, that's covered so much these days. I suppose, because it's not, is it not quite as fashionable as obviously Vegas and stuff? But um, I did, I mean, I did look at the history of it. Uh, and uh, I think it's quite an interesting story around Donald Trump and his casinos and everything. And, Obviously, the, the decline in the in 2014 or the mid 2010s. Uh, um, so I, I sort of looked at that, but I didn't really uh, look at any other vloggers. But I don't think there really are any. Maybe the odd video, but no one does it regularly. I don't think. Aside aside from slot channels like uh, NJ Slot Guy, who I met, and Top Dollar Mike, who are both really nice guys. Uh, Craig Jennings asked, uh, "Are you planning to see Richard Wilk when I get to Vegas?" Uh, yes, uh, I will be messaging him. Uh, before I get there, basically. So yes, I hope, I hope to. Uh, Bob Morin Jr. says, will you be stopping at any casinos in Michigan on your way west? I don't think so. No, we're not going up to Michigan. No. Sorry, that was a question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So we're going to Michigan City. That's as close as we can get to, to Michigan. And Gaz, uh, Gaz says, Gaz, how dare you? Gaz, Gaz says, uh, Jules, if I get you a Sheffield United, you know you support Sheffield United and I support Sheffield Wednesday. We're older, bigger, and better. But they are actually in a... a, a Wait, spot. so Gaz doesn't like your team? No, not really. Um, but he's a referee, yeah. he could really go... Yeah, that's true. He says if he gets you a Sheffield United shirt, will you switch to a Premier League team? He plays in a slightly different league. I thought league. you were in the Premier League. No, we're in, we're in the Championship, which I think is actually... A, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a much more um, competitive level of football. And I, I'd much prefer to be in the Championship than the Premier League. You don't really want to watch the Premier League. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Gaz. Sorry. You'll have to fight over it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Chris says, are you going to MGM Grand Las Vegas for filming? I don't know, Chris. Probably. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. The only good thing with MGM now, they've got this new policy on slot filming, and uh, it, uh, it works. I, mean, I haven't had any problem in National Harbour, and apparently they've been quite touchy about um, filming um, recently. Uh, but with this new policy where basically if it's for personal use, which I think pretty much uh, includes um, YouTube and social media sharing, um, there is no issue as long as you're not you know, setting up filming equipment and you know, filming all the guests and stuff. So it actually, I think their new policy is actually good for, uh, for me as opposed to bad. So I'm, I'm quite pleased about that. Okay, so just a couple of highs to everybody else. Uh, Mark Nielding, how are you doing? Um, Charles Michael says the travel series is truly special. Thank you, Charles. Uh, Lydia says I will find you. I'll just follow the tra trail of bud bottles. <laughs> uh, Lester Bangs wants to know what state you're from, Jules. Texas. I'm from Texas. Yeah. Uh, and AD Snap says, ever been close to being arrested in Vegas? <laughs> Both of us. No, I've never been close to being arrested in Vegas. No, I was pulled over once for filming a casino in the car like this, and the, the highway guy uh, pulled me over and I said, look, I'm, I'm going to the airport, I was travelling back to uh, LA, and he, he sort of stared at me, but he said, I'm on your way, so he was actually a nice one. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, I think we're actually done with most of the questions there. Lewis and Ponte says, Matt and Jules, thanks for the vlog. It's great to have something to relax to after a long day at work. Thank you, Lewis. Oh, and somebody asked um, what I'm going to do to celebrate 20,000 subscribers. I, I'll be honest, I don't really chase subscribers. I don't really tend to ask. 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking I should really do something. Um, and maybe two grand in a slot. I'm not going to do 20 grand in a slot, that is for sure. Um, but and that's it, I, I, I'd be quite happy to do that. I mean, it's been a long time coming. This is nine years, you know. Uh, but I'm very close now. Uh, so I think it's like the last count, it was 200 and something, 260 or something. Uh, so hopefully it will happen this trip. And uh, that's enough for me, really, just hit that sort of milestone, because I think that's quite a nice little round number. Um, you know, I'm not trying to take over the world or do anything. It's, um, it is what it is. And... Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to do. Um, I will do something. I'll, it'll probably be two grand in, 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 in high limit or something. Bigger. Oh, it's in the bigger. Yeah, sorry, it was Vegas Shaft and Angie that asked that question. How are you doing? Yeah, you, you I've too. seen that, yeah. Uh, Jill Archer says, you put out so many vid videos, it's hard to keep up. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's hard to keep up putting them up, um, uh, Jill, I can assure you that. I can't wait to, for you to come to Windstar, more than 8,000 slot machines. Jesus Christ. And then Mark says, what charity are you driving, doing the trip in? It's an SUV, Mark. Um, we don't want to really sort of say what it is, just for security reasons, really. Oh, yeah, 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 certain things will... And then Jack um, M. Rose says, sorry, I couldn't... Uh, I could only say hi really quickly last night. I had to be at work at 5 a.m. today, so I couldn't hang around long. Great to meet you. It was great to meet you as well, mate. And I think we're pretty much there, really. Uh, one question from Matt Wilson. Matt, are you amazed at how many casinos there are across the U.S.? They've really exploded over the past few years. Yeah, I, I, this, is a very, this is an interesting question because one thing that really intrigues me, I mean, you know, if we take MGM National Harbour last night, it was quite hopping in there, wasn't it? It was pretty busy. And this was just a random Wednesday night. And Paul, uh, PJ, Paul, said uh, that if you go in there on a Friday or Saturday, it's absolutely rammed. Um, 
it's just how ingrained in American society casinos are, and gambling in general is. Uh, I mean, some of these casinos like this one and the uh, Turning Stone, which had an average age of around about 78, uh, these yeah. people are, they, they love it. They love it. You couldn't get on a machine in Turning Stone. No. I mean, we walked in Turning Stone for lunch. Uh, I mean, it's seemingly a, a property in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Uh, and again, I think that was a golfing place, wasn't it? A bit like this one. And, and you walked into a casino, you thought, oh my God, there, there are people everywhere. And you just think... Uh, I, I really feel they shuttle them in from, yeah. you know, whatever home they're living in. Or yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's what we were saying. I mean, they didn't look the healthiest, really, but um, it was. Yeah, uh, yeah, but just across the country, I just find it. We don't have that culture in the UK, and, and I find it amazing that all of these places aren't just surviving; they're thriving. I'm not sure how um, the gamblers' uh, bank accounts are surviving. Uh, they're probably not thriving, but it, it is amazing, really, when you think of it. And you th just think of the tax that the government. Here, you know, it takes from everybody, even when the occasional times they win. I mean, it's just, you know, it, it, it blows my mind, really. Uh, well, <laughs> I've grown a bit. Is that you or me? I don't know. I'm shaving on Fridays and Mondays. Yeah. I decided. I quite like the sort of um, graying beard, actually. I, I, I haven't shaved since. Uh, Sin, actually, since far, yeah, since, since I got here. No, what? No, I shaved once. Okay. Um, but it grows quite quick. So, but no, I'm not growing a beard. No. Um, I, Suzanne actually hates me with stubble, so she actually makes me shave. I probably wouldn't do it at home if, if it wasn't. In fact, she hates it. Uh, so uh, when I'm obviously away, I tend not to bother. So. Um, Kevin Ed says, just make sure you stay away from the Dragon Cash downtown. The blood. Why is that, Kevin? Um, Mel's Bar become a regular. JD and Coke and Place online slots watching Bridge Alive. Enjoy the trip from Dave and Wendy. Hello, Dave and Wendy. I hope, you, I hope you're good. And then um, Mania says uh, maybe UK should start taxing gambling, then there'd be more casinos. <laughs> Um, and Aaron says, hey Matt, how's the restaurant been out there? Love the buffets in Vegas. Yeah, everything we've eaten has been nice. I mean, it's been good food, but again, we've been grabbing food rather than, you know, we haven't been lazing around doing a, you know, three course meal. And, you know, we haven't had a fine restaurant meal. No. We're saving that for Vegas. Yeah, I mean, I've got quite a few um, bookings in Vegas. We, go, we do an Eiffel Tower. Um, there's a few. Um, we'll do Oscars again. So I'm going to Joe's. And we're going to Joe's, yeah, which is um, Jules's favourite in Caesar's Palace. Um, you, go, you go there every trip, don't you? Yeah. Um, yeah, he, shout, out, shout out to Thomas the Maitre the yeah. Jones. And uh, Gas says, how, how did you set up with the live stream? Are you on your laptop and then chat on your phone? Now, basically, my phone's on a tripod, and we've got Jules's laptop that he we pretty much bought, especially for the trip, didn't we, for this eventuality. Oh, for um, a week from this So, uh, yeah, no, that, yeah, it's worked okay, I think. I'm assuming you, you can hear us bright and uh, clear. Uh, the picture seems okay. We haven't had any issues with the Wi-Fi. We, we managed to find a spot that we could set everything up, and the lovely waitress is here, know we're doing it, and they're quite happy. And, uh, yeah, so it's gone quite well, actually. I might do more of these, you know, they're quite fun. <laughs> And then Mike says, how long are you in Vegas for, Matt? Uh, where are you staying? I've, I've already mentioned where I'm staying. Um, and I'm there for 12 nights with, uh, with well, no, I'm there 13, uh, Suzanne's there 12. So I arrive the day before she does. Uh, Luke Nicholson, how you doing? Uh, Luke, um, hello, Matt and Jules. Do you guys ever play any table games? Well, Jules obviously is blackjack. Have it, uh, haven't ever seen it in the vlog, but wondered if you dabbled behind the scenes. Well, we have spoken about me possibly doing a uh, a session of blackjack at some point. Yeah, whenever, whenever Matt's ready. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. Yeah, have permission to film or whatever. Uh, uh, film. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can't film table games uh, full stop, so that would never happen anyway. I, I, I have a, a, a occasionally played uh, roulette, and I do quite like playing a bit of roulette sometimes in London, but it's, it is 99.9% .9 slots really for me. Uh, and Danita says, are you going to pick some subscribers and do a slot play along? That was so fun when you've done it for those that can't get to any of the locations. The problem, the problem is, Danita, is it, um, I lose money doing that quite a lot because by the time I've received the money with fees taken off via PayPal or whatever, 
and then I send back the money that we've won, yeah, it's hundreds that. of dollars I end up losing. So it's not really the best option for me. I've done it for the Patreon group, uh, and I will probably continue to do that on uh, periodically. Well, I will continue to do that periodically. Yeah. But just it, for, for everybody, it's just, it's, it, and it's a lot. It's an awful lot of um, organisation, honestly. It, it, for what sounds like an easy thing, it, it's it's a real headache, honestly. Yeah, so probably not. Uh, Chris says, "Am I coming back to banks in the fall?" I can't, I can't uh, think about anything other than this trip at the moment, to be honest. I've got nothing planned um, for later in the year, aside from possibly a Zorkfest in October in Lake Tahoe. But that's not um, been agreed yet, but it's possible. Uh, and Eric says, am I planning any group calls in Vegas? Not this time, um, Eric. Uh, the reason is, is that, you know, I'd have had three weeks meeting up with everybody um, during this, which I, I'm thoroughly enjoying, um, but Suzanne then arrives and I won't have seen it for three weeks, so I'm probably going to actually pause the videos once Suzanne arrives for two or three days, just so we get some quality time with her, and I don't really want to get into group calls and stuff, and uh, so basically everything is to make sure Suzanne has a good time when she arrives, and uh, so probably not this trip, but they will come back when I do my next solo trip, for sure. Um, oh, uh, hi Matt, I know the answer is Adam Good, how are you doing Adam? Hi Matt, could you ask Jules what his biggest slot win is please? Cheers. Come on then Jules. Uh, Drag away. It was, <laughs> it was a grand jackpot uh, on New Year's Day, it was 17 grand. Oh no! Uh, yeah, that was the biggest one. Yeah. But he's, he's had three grand jackpots yeah, in a had, year. Had, had three grands. Unbelievable. At five dollars a, a, a bet as well, so we're not talking high limit here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vegas small timer. Hi Matt, loving the vlogs. Have you figured out the difference between sun and sky yet? I know, basically, yeah, no, for some I, reason. I, I cringed when just, you said that. Yeah, but it, 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 listen, <laughs> she knows. I told him, he was walking around and I would say, This is the sky casino. He's like, Right, got it, sun. Yeah, no, no, but it's because it was Mohegan's sun. <laughs> but again, if, you know. I am literally doing all of this filming, running around between trying to upload, edit, get the footage, put it in, check in, meet everybody, drink, sleep for a few hours and go. I'm actually amazed that the vlogs have turned out as professional as they have because it, it, it honestly isn't easy. I, I found this the most challenging because, probably because there's quite a lot of transitions to put in and try and make it all nice. and. But it, it, it is quite challenging, and I'm not surprised I make a few mistakes. It, it's it's, it's going to happen. I'm only human. As I said, I'm working on three three vlogs at any given time. Um, so you know, if I forget a date or I forget a name, I make no apologies for it, honestly. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there. We went, uh, yeah, five, just quarter, quarter past five coming up. Um, so we'll we'll do another one of these at the end of. Uh, Phase two, which is what is? Can you remind me what phase two is? When we leave uh, Windstar. All right, so when we leave Windstar, we'll we'll do something there. Um, and uh, thanks for all your questions. I, I hope you enjoy all the vlogs. They've certainly the, the reaction to them has been incredible, and uh, they're actually more popular than the Vegas ones up to now, which has really really surprised me. Um, so uh, thank you everybody for all your support, and uh, we will see you very soon. Um, I actually don't know how to turn this off. <laughs> but we will see you soon. Bye. Take care.